Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and tonight we are doing something a bit different. So this is still a Monday Night Raw prediction. But they're actually bringing back King of the Ring. And it's going to be really exciting. So what we're doing for the next two predictions. So today is Monday Night Raw. Tomorrow is Smackdown Live. We are predicting who will become the King of the Ring. Today is the half of SmackDown. There's 16 subtotal. A from Raw, A from SmackDown. So what we'll be doing, guys, is obviously when this is over, uh, you'd be the king of the ring. But since it's two brands and it's combining, we're going to have this one representing Raw, and then the next one will represent SmackDown. And then I'm going to uh, combine them probably on... Uh, SmackDown's end, I think the match will be happening, or Monday Night Raw next week. Not entirely sure, but what we're going to do now is tell you who is representing the Raw side. So we have Cesaro versus Samoa Joe. We have Ricochet versus Drew McIntyre. And then the winner of those two matches will fight each other. So if Cesaro, I'll tell you how this guy's works. So if Cesaro beats Samoa Joe and Ricochet beats Drew McIntyre, Cesaro and Ricochet or McIntyre would fight each other. And then the winner of that would fight the winner of the next one. And then on the other side, we have Cedric versus Sami Zayn. And then The Miz versus Baron Corbin. Now, I don't entirely know who will win this. I feel like Samoa Joe could potentially be the last one to make it. Not entirely sure. But who knows? Who will prevail? That is the question. SmackDown Live Raw, welcome to the King of the Ring. Okay, guys. So, what we'll be doing is we'll be starting with Cesaro and Samoa Joe. Honestly, I believe Samoa Joe won't make quick work of Cesaro, but I think Samoa Joe will win this one. Let's find out. Okay, guys, Joe and Cesaro fighting for the chance to be king of the ring. Will we get King Joe? Will we get King Cesaro? I don't understand why they would bring back the king of the ring, but it's a fun little twist to WWE again. I, I think people really enjoyed it, and with the passing of Harley Race, former winner of King of the Ring. It, it, I think it just puts into uh, perspective that the King of the Ring helped his career in a certain way that these superstars could have help in theirs. Big drop kick from Samoa Joe. So far Samoa Joe being the uh, dominant wrestler here but Cesaro with a giant sweep picking him up. Cesaro we've seen have some nice matches lately uh, specifically against Aleister Black but this is the match that really matters this is not just a normal match this is a chance to become king of the ring and since it's been gone for quite a while now it'd be such an honor to be the first in a while to be king of the ring and i believe samoa joe could do it to be completely honest he's strong he's fast submission specialist you don't see that coquina clutch coming until you went to sleep and wake up figuring out what really happened that night giant drop from Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is unbelievable manhandling Cesaro here. Big Yurinagi. Getting him back to his feet here. And another drop kick from Samoa Joe to Cesaro. Unbelievable power from the submission machine. Oh. Go on high, come on. Joe, 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 Joe. We know Joe, and he knows him because he's the one that's going to become one. We can only hope that he's becoming the king of the ring. Honestly, Joe, so overlooked, former Universal. I think he's a former Intercontinental. Oh, might have go been going for the Coquina Clutch. Oh, big clothesline. Samoa Joe just manhandling Cesaro. If he the Swift this, Cyborg he is, is not looking good. Another Yurinagi from this Joe. Over, is Some people would say Samoa that Joe Cesaro now. shouldn't He's even be in gone. here. I'm sadly one of those You're people. I think Aleister Black should be in here. He beat Cesaro. Whoa, no way. Going all out, I guess. Giant muscle buster. We haven't seen Samoa Joe use that in quite a long time. 
I think that move was He's banned. One, two, three. Moving on Samoa into Joe it. Samoa did. Joe is officially clear for a spot. That was a quick match. Joe's completely that dominant yeah, that match to end it a muscle buster. We haven't seen him do the muscle buster in quite a long time. But Samoa Joe's knows what he just did. Okay, guys, we're about to hit the next one. Okay, guys, so I'm in a small mistake. It's actually Drew versus Ricochet. You can feel the electricity running through this Drew arena. This is going completely to be manhandling wow, wow. Ricochet. Wow, wow. Oh my God! These guys are undoubtedly going chop to give after it. chop. Ooh, Ricochet gonna, getting back Drew into it. Top Roundhouse top caught in between the legs. Oh my God! The power! Look at the throw from Drew McIntyre to Ricochet. Drew McIntyre Last go kiss. Up. Caught. Oh, the power of Ricochet. This might be Big oh, back slam. Oh, McIntyre out. But back in. Runs to the ropes. Oh, and another impact. big clothesline takes out the ref and Ricochet. Guys. Drew McIntyre is champion material. I don't know why he hasn't had a title yet. Not even the not even the freaking 24/7. He so I have a belief that Ricochet, being a former United States, has a lot of confidence coming into this. But we've seen Drew wrestle, and it's it's a sight to behold. It is next level aggression, clothesline, another one from Drew McIntyre. Oh, just threatening him, waiting for him to get up here. Manipulating the tide of the match, right? Oh, Ricochet throws Drew McIntyre. The power of Ricochet Absolutely can not. only be looked at from a distance because he's so damn fast. We don't know where he's coming from. And so far, he's doing pretty good against Drew. He's yeah. doing better than we've seen most. Oh, went for it. Nope. And a Reverses big it. shoulder tackle. Drew McIntyre not playing around. Wants something in the company. Oh, and if it's not going to be a title, he line. wants to be king of the Slam. ring. Nobody does it quite like Just him. stomping down on Ricochet. Waiting for him. Big Claymore kick. That has to be it. That actually Ricochet has to be it. One, two, and a kick out, and a kick out from Ricochet. Could Ricochet business. become king Ricochet? I wonder why... No, I don't. Oh, anyone can win this. Giant yeah, suplex. Play. Maybe not Ricochet, actually. It seems like um, former Shot United States champion is not looking good right now. Oh, saying get up. Saying get up. Big Lasco kiss. Waiting. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Big Claymore kick one more time. Yeah, I definitely Knocks him flat on his ass for the, the one, two, the what? Uh -uh. Drew McIntyre cannot believe it. Ricochet kicked out again. Unbelievable. Obviously, Ricochet really wants to spring up more of a fight than Cesaro did to Samoa Joe. Ricochet. Unbelievable. I feel like Drew McIntyre thought this was going to be a clean sweep. So did I. Just so look at the height difference, the power difference. And you're like, there's no scientific way that Ricochet even kicks out of one. But he kicked out of two Claymore kicks. And he's about to pay for it. Drew McIntyre making sure of that. Suplex. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a Unbelievable. McIntyre just McIntyre doesn't like to lose. Throws him to the corner and meets him with the last go kiss again. Okay, this is McIntyre's time. Charging up the Claymore this time. For the third Claymore. It was missed. Oh my god. Reversal from McIntyre. And while Back and forth action here. Unbelievable. Cutter? I almost said RKO. Back to his feet, though. Throws him. Oh, no. Big stomp to the face of Ricochet. Thrown. Big shoulder tackle again. Yeah, he's not he's looking beating very good at this down point. on McIntyre, making sure that Ricochet won't get up. 
unbelievable though. You have to applaud Ricochet even though he has a bit of a death wish. And another big clothesline from McIntyre, guys. This is unbelievable strength from the Scottish Psychopath, but I don't understand what is keeping Ricochet alive. And a kick from Ricochet. And reversal. And a Claymore out of nowhere to make the third Claymore that connects. It has to be over. It has to be over. One, two, three. Nothing left in uh, Ricochet, guys. Unfortunately, nothing left for Ricochet. You have to applaud him, though. Kicked out of two Claymore kicks and dodged a third. But that fourth one put him to sleep faster than Drew put uh, Cedric to sleep. I'm not easily impressed, but, but you got to applaud him. You have to applaud him. Here is your winner. Just this. Oh, Drew McIntyre just insult the injury right now. Beaten down on Ricochet. For s I, I think Drew's just thinking that this was a waste of a time. Like, waste of his time. So, I, I don't know if this is, like, vendetta or is this some next level vengeance. Completely savage attack on Ricochet. Drew McIntyre proving why he's not becoming the king of the ring today. Claymore kick busts the face of Ricochet. Okay, guys, the next one is Cedric versus Sami Zayn. Let's find out who wins that one. Okay, guys, like I said, Cedric, Sami Zayn. Already going for the roll-up, Cedric. Whoa, no way. No way. One. Oh, reversed. One. That was close for Cedric and Zane. Oh, dodged with a kick. Oh, missed with the clothesline. Sammy Zane, the voice of the assholes, as I like to call him. Oh, giant face buster from Cedric. Cedric's been on a giant spree, beating Drew McIntyre in a couple matches. Taking it high, helping Roman Reigns, just making his name known in the main roster. And if he could become King Alexander, then who knows what that can mean for his career. Former Intercontinental Champion, maybe. We know he's a former um, 205 Live Champion, and we know he loves going high. As you can see, that one sadly missed, but he loves going high. So if we see King Alexander, just imagine what could happen. Oh, big forearm here. He might have it. Oh, caught him. Big face buster. So already going for pin. One, two, and a kick out from Sami Zayn. Oh, big DDT. The power of Cedric here. Oh, dodge the kick, Zayn. How could Sami Zayn just dig deeper right now? And oh, went for the roundhouse. Oh, went for the kick there. Big form. Oh, and a small elbow drop He's there. Just on so much punishment. Oh, my God. Sami Zayn is not looking good in this match. Drew McIntyre's music hit, guys. I don't know. Oh, almost costed him. Almost costed him the match. But yeah, guys, he was turned around because Drew McIntyre's music hit all of a sudden, making sure that Drew McIntyre doesn't have to fight Cedric because he might be afraid of Cedric. I know that sounds ridiculous, but Cedric is one of the guys that actually beat Drew McIntyre. Already going for the lumbar check. There it is. Could have went for the pin, but not going for it. Oh, going for another lumbar check, making sure he becomes king. Alexander going for the pin, that has to be it. One, two, three. Cedric makes short work of Sami Zayn, and Sami Zayn almost got the match thanks to Drew McIntyre, but no, that was all Cedric. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. Unbelievable, just grateful that he's in here unbelievably happy 
He is so hyped up, guys. But now, Miz versus Corbin. I really don't know who's going to win that. But we can all hope the Miz. Let's see. All right. The Miz versus Corbin. And we're underway. Oh, big Looking boot missed. Men, I don't think there's oh, right into the rope. Knee missed. And another one matchup. finally makes Aside the connection. Drew McIntyre an oh, won his match. Cedric won his match. And Samojo won his match. Now it's the Miz's turn or Baron Corbin's to prove oh, why they're in this. And obviously the Miz, great the wrestler. Miz I don't even know how many times he's held the Intercontinental, but I, I think it's double digits. I'm not sure if he's a 13-time Intercontinental. I might be wrong, guys. But can we just put the Intercontinental back on The Miz, please? I don't even care if he turns back heel. The Miz was a great Intercontinental champion. And to add to his resume, he is a WWE champion, a tag team champion. I think... Think a United States champion? I don't know. But to add to his re and he's a Money in the Bank winner, so yeah, he's a Money in the Bank winner. I had to think about that. So to add to his resume, how about becoming King Miz and proving why DDT? This could be not just a dream, but a reality for the WWE. If the Miz can just hit that one skull crushing finale. Oh, backbreaker. Baron Corbin getting back into it. We haven't seen Corbin really do anything lately. Uh, former United States champion. And a former Money in the Bank, but failed to cash in. So, uh, yeah. He is not something to look at. Sorry, Corbin. Sorry I hate on you, but I do not like you. Pull in the face. Unbelievable tear. Oh, going for it. Face buster. Miz gets out of it, but barely. Oh, going for it. Big knee. The face of Corbin knocks the big man down. The Miz is calling for it. Oh, and tonight, guys, Baron Corbin, not Baron Corbin, Braun Strowman and AJ Styles have a match. Okay, and this match just ended with a skull crushing finale to Corbin. That's it. That has to be it. One, two. He's got to be running on Kick out from. Still in this. Why? Why Corbin? Why do you do this to yourself? Punch form, whatever you want to call it. But there is a neck breaker. The crowd is just loving it. I'm loving it, honestly. Great effort, but he better save something Going for the for knee. In the match. And then DDT one more time. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Is the second time the enough Miz to end this match? Throwing him to, to the ropes, I think. There we go. Throwing to the ropes. Caught and a big, big boot nails him. Letting him get up this time. Letting him get up, but he's in a position that he doesn't want to be. Baron Corbin goal. drills him down no and way. catches him with the end of day. But can he follow up here? He One, right here. two, two. three. Oh, but a kick, kick out. out from the, the Miz. Miz. Is a crown no way he's going out like that. Almost the had it. Corbin was, was on the there. brink of becoming. Next one step closer of being ready. King Corbin. Great Finally, effort, Miz getting back into it. In Corbin, oh, I thought he was going to go for another end of days. And a Beautiful. swinging neck breaker. Miz just getting a bit cocky there, showing his roots of what made him a great gotcha. champion. Miz. Going for the third DDT. But not torn around, going for the pin already. Not even going for another skull crushing finale. Is that actually it? No, it is not. Will he pop out? Will he pop out? Oh, the Miz. I think getting a steel chair. Oh my god. 
There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way. Oh, big one farm. Of these guys claims of being the best in the business. The Miz with taken nice out. Reversal. Big knee. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like oh, that. Oh, ref Come took on. out the chair. Oh, Miz was probably going to cheat like he used it. to. Or was he? Lands this and he is done. Grabbing that steel chair again. Ref fighting the Miz. Ref taken out by the Miz. What is going on? He may not get back up Unbelievable. Baron Corbin getting back into it. I can't believe the disrespect the Miz just showed the official. Going for the pin, the official. One. No trouble and a kick out. out. It's gonna take more than that. Baron Corbin doesn't care about the WWE. The face of the Miz the on that chair. Oh. The impact. oh, oh, that's just wrong. That's cheap, Corbin. What is Corbin even doing? Go for another pin. Oh my He's God! So One. He's being actually so Not cheap. Yet. Thrown he across. And he's heading back in. Oh, big he manhandled punch. Oh, Ricky. He's looking shaky. Oh, sorry, this could be the end. What the hell? The Miz getting the a Miz little crazy here. This. Wait a minute. No the way. The taste of his own medicine. End of days, end of days the from end. the It'll Miz to Baron Corbin. One, two, three. A taste of his own medicine. Baron Corbin was trying to cheat there. Taking away the turnbuckle. And Highlight was getting some momentum. And then all of a sudden, The Miz had enough. And he pulled out here. an end of days. Unbelievable. Okay, wow, guys, we have our four winners. Now let's find out like who will he beat the right. next. Let's find out. All right, here we are, guys. The semifinals. I'm going to have to that out. Well, we have Samoa Joe versus McIntyre. I don't think these two have collided before. Not entirely sure. And Cedric versus The Miz. I'm positive we haven't seen that before. You know, it would be a bit interesting if Alexander won and McIntyre won, and then we'd have a rematch for them. But preferably, I want Cedric to win this one. Sorry, Miz. I'm so sorry, but I, I need Cedric to get a little bit of a push. And I'm torn because McIntyre Savage and Samoa Joe Savage both deserve to be here. I don't know, guys. But we're going to start with this one. Honestly, whoever wins, I'm happy with. But I don't know. We need to see some new talent, get some push. That's all I'm thinking. Here we are. Okay, guys. Cedric and The Miz the going at it. To be the most must -see WWE Already Fisherman awesome Neckbreaker. I don't even think that's that what it's right called, now. but that's what I'm going to call it. This card is just packed with so many Big kick battles. missed. And drop kick from The Miz. Did not drop him back to his feet, seven. Alexander. Oh, kick missed. Oh, close eye missed. And cutter missed. <laughs> just everything Another missing. One. Okay, The Miz finally getting some momentum. And Alexander swipes that momentum away from him with a kick. Oh, the Miz is acting all tough. And gone. Forearm punch, round fist. Not where he wants to be right oh, the Miz now. Hey, stunned. And big clothesline back to his feet again. Now. Alexander. Alexander been doing a lot. Oh, there it is. That's what I mean. Going high. Beat Drew McIntyre, former 205 Live. Like I said a little while ago, guys, just wanting to become a little something called King of the Ring. Splash outside the ring. Come on. That was a hurt. Oh, getting back into it. The count of five from the ref. They're back in, though. Great 
big kick from Cedric here. Oh, missed his kick. We've we've seen that kick often. I don't know if that will end the match, but oh, Miz using the ropes to make Cedric fall backwards. Honestly, if the Miz would win this, that would just fix his resume in so many ways and just add more to it being like hey I'm this guy give me my push because I oh got big boot oh back to his feet big clothesline making quick work of the Miz a former intercontinental champion even if Cedric loses here you, you just gotta applaud him but if he actually wins he just pinned a former WWE champion and a former Intercontinental champion, a former Take Team champion, a Grand Slam champion, The Miz. So, I don't know. That could mean a lot to Cedric and his career. The Miz is looking at this. But The Miz denying everything DDT to Cedric Alexander. This is all but over. Going from pin already. Cedric not looking good. One. And kick it out and a Cedric Alexander. Kick out. He's a the Miz cannot believe it. That's ended matches before. Charging for, for the Skull Crusher. The Skull Crushing finale. Oh, reverse. Cedric oh, and Alexander reverse into the Lombard Shack. Shack. It's over. The Miz here. is done. Is Look the at that. Lines? Reversed. The Skull Crushing Can finale reversed to that. That. No way. Unbelievable, Cedric Alexander. Really win. quick there. Reversed. We have to we see that again. That we Take have to look. see that again. Overall, Where is it? This match was so best. there it was. But he was going for the Skull Crusher finale and he reversed fact, it and I turned it into that, that lumbar check right there. Unbelievable. And I didn't even know if that was going to be it. But one, two, three ding 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 we have a winner Cedric enjoying every moment of it unbelievable okay now we have Joe versus McIntyre this match is going to be fire guys alright guys here we go Samoa Joe versus Drew McIntyre. Unbelievable. We haven't seen this match. At least I don't think so. Both really big guys. But only one of them is a former Universal Champion. And that's Samoa Joe. The man that beat Brock Lesnar. I should add. But so far, Drew McIntyre doesn't care about his resume. Completely decimating... Samoa Joe, two Goliaths in the ring right now fighting each other. Both want to become the king of the ring, but only one can become the king of the ring. And it seems so far like that could be Drew McIntyre, been completely dominant so far. Oh, we've seen this often. Face first launch. Oh my god. And a big suplex to Samoa Joe. Oh, punch and a big boot. Samoa Joe not looking good. A stomp to the face of Joe. Here it comes. He's got him. Drew saying, "Get up." Last go kiss. Unbelievable strength from Drew manhandling Samoa Joe. I don't think Samoa Joe's been manhandled like this in a long, long, long time. Big Impact. suplex. Already the count of six from the referee. Strong kick. My goodness. He's calling for it. He's almost got him. Somebody and a claymore. Here's his moment, Michael. Got the ref there. is at the, the count of eight, one. guys. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Oh, I thought Drew was going to stay in there for the ten count and hope. But no, I don't think Not he wants so to win like fast. that. I think he wants to prove his power by beating Samoa Joe legitimately. Oh, they're outside here. Uh -oh. oh, on the metal. Oh, my God. Neck first. You got to imagine that just shortens your career. Oh, already the count of six the referee. Samoa Joe being smart here. Running back into the ring. 
Oh, pulls the neck. Drew going high. We haven't seen Drew go high ever, I think. Big double axle fist. Oh, my God. And another last go kiss. Going for the pin. One, two, and a kick out from Smojo. Not unbelievable, but really clever. And it's over. Going for the Claymore. Charging up. Saying it's over. Giving him the point of death. And goes for the Claymore. Nighty night, Samoa Joe. Oh my god. Samoa Joe with the amazing kick out. Oh, thrown. And a giant slam from Joe. Drew McIntyre fans with some reason to worry here. Now it's Joe on the offensive here. Let's not get ahead of oh, back to his feet, Cole. though. McIntyre back here. into Nothing it. Drew exactly what he was in here. big trouble he's there. Oh, right back to this. Come on. Come on, Close Joe. Big right knee. And McIntyre once again, McIntyre showing why. Why he's in here. And Joe showing why he's in here. Just straight back and forth action from these two. But like I said, guys, if it was up to me, these two would both become King of the Ring. But we can only have one. Charging it up once again, making sure he does get up. Forcing him to get up even. And another Elasco kiss. Unbelievable power. Going for the Claymore once more. It's over for Joe. Oh, Joe got him. Close and a clothesline. Oh, Drew! Cut! It's over. It's so over. If he doesn't tap, then he's going to sleep. Samoa Joe back into it with a coquina clutch. Letting him out of it. He's definitely asleep. Drew McIntyre's definitely asleep. Oh, oh, wakes well, his ass up. How much more will take. Drew McIntyre was almost put to sleep by the submission oh, specialist, Samoa Joe. Delivered. A big senton. This, this is what makes him one of the best in the business. Just staring down Drew. Thinking, you position. thought you're gonna beat me? Here's a Urinagi. You simply can never count out Samoa, Samoa Joe, Joe. Feeling it. Nailed it. Going oh, no. high here. Drew McIntyre, you're screwed. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. When you piss off Samoa Joe, you either get put to sleep. Or you get put into the hospital. Big suplex. Throw him back to the corner. Samoa Joe doing what he did to Cesaro, bringing out the muscle buster. Impactful will jar your spine. You simply can never count out Samoa Joe. Drew McIntyre just getting taunted by Samoa Joe. But back to his feet. I don't know what he is oh, here, miss. Samoa Joe denying him. Samoa Joe's just taking a break outside. But McIntyre ending that break. Oh, here it is. Samoa Joe twisting the neck. Uh-oh. And now it's McIntyre's turn. Big clothesline. I think it might be over for Joe. Big clothesline once again. Clothesline after clothesline. Claymore after Claymore. How much more can Samojo put in? Straight punches. Thrown backwards. And a big boom knocks him. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. And one more for measure. That's it. I'm sorry. Samoa Joe. One, two. Three. Wow, what a match. Drew McIntyre was almost done for.
Samoa Joe in so many situations. Like Drew could have ended it there and saved himself. But there it was, almost put to sleep. We thought it was over, and then when Joe checked to see if he was out for the one, two, three, one, two, kick out right there. So it was a good match, match but in the, the end, Samoa Joe exactly sadly not continuing. Well. And then there we thought it was over too, a muscle buster. Then Joe started getting a bit cocky. And there it is, Drew McIntyre wins. Here we are guys, the finals for Raw's King of the Ring. Here we go. Okay guys, we've come this far. Now these two meet up again, Cedric and Drew McIntyre. And can't slam down Drew McIntyre. These two big history wins on both of each other, but McIntyre, being the bigger guy you would think has not been defeated by Cedric, but dude, he's been defeated by Cedric I think twice now, so you gotta keep in mind that Cedric's now pushed over, and it seems like it could be the end for Cedric Alexander. Okay guys, so, so far so good, Drew McIntyre winning against Cedric, you could say. Big pal driver to Cedric Alexander. Cedric has come this far and so has Drew. This is what matters now. And so far Drew was looking dominant, but now Cedric just proving why he made it to the finals. And Drew showing why he made it to the finals as well. The power of Drew is just unbeatable. The only one that had a match against his power was Samoa Joe, and Drew put him out. So now it's just someone that he already put down. But then again, Cedric already put Drew down as well. So you got to think about who will actually win this one. Because when they fought each other, it didn't really matter. It was like, oh, you lost? Okay. But now, it, it's to be the champion of King of the Ring. After this, you, you've made it, and you get a break until SmackDown's done. So, who knows? Chop after chop, Cedric passing it around in the corner. Cedric missed. Shoulder tackle from Cedric. Ah, Drew. Just, you gotta feel bad for Cedric. There, there is a height, there's a weight, there's a strength advantage, power difference. And out of nowhere, Claymore kick. Look at that, reversed it and caught him with a Claymore. Out of nowhere, that's it. Goodbye, Cedric. You had fun. One, two, three. Cedric, you're nuts. You know it's crazy when they kick out of a Claymore kick. Cedric has been, like, ruined by finish after finisher. And now, it seems like Cedric is probably screwed. Giant headbutt from McIntyre. One, two, three. The, uh, unbelievable. Okay, guys. So, that is the raw half. That is my prediction of who will win. The raw half Drew McIntyre won the whole thing now tomorrow you guys will see the Smackdown half and then the champion I'm not sure if we'll see who wins the whole thing on Smackdown or we'll see who wins the whole thing on raw or if it will be a giant week thing but who knows Drew McIntyre your winner thank you guys for watching have a good night guys